Hey there and welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode and today we're gonna test a brand new LUT and the tutorial itself is very simple so if you are just starting out and if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe and if you want to get these color LUTs, brushes and everything then it's available on my Patreon and the Patreon link is in the description list below so there are tons to cover so without any further ado let's dive into the video So here we go in Photoshop and the video is going to be very simple. We're going to test our brand new LUT and this LUT will be available on my Patreon. Please check on the description list below. So let's see, let's first start a composition first and for that press Ctrl and N. And I'm going for 4x5 resolution to 300, color mode to RGB and bitrate to 8. And let's keep everything as default and let's click on create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop this main player image right over here let's disable this layer for now and then i got this texture so let's drag and drop this texture right over here uh, let's convert this texture as a smart object 2 and press ctrl and t let's make it a little bigger or yep let's keep it somewhere in the center and i have got another texture too uh, so let's drag and drop these textures right over here too press ctrl and t Let's make it a little bigger somewhere on this side. And let's keep this uh, texture bottom and let's convert this blending mode for this layer as a screen. And Control T, let's make it a little bigger so it just fits right around here. Yep, something like that. And then uh, let's go on very bottom. Let's create a solid and let's give a solid to kind of similar color. Yep, maybe. Here we go, yep, maybe something like this and let's click on OK. Uh, let's press Ctrl and T, let's make it a little smaller. Yep. Just like so and let's create a layer max. And go to brush and let's erase uh, some of uh, these hard edges. Yep, let's erase. Let's use the black color and let's get some of this is is right around here So here we go. Let's turn on the visibility for this uh, layer image and press ctrl and T. Let's make it a little smaller Maybe some more. Let's keep it right around here Just like so and let's see let's make it a little smaller ctrl T Let's keep it somewhere right around around here or maybe a little bigger yep just like so and let's change the texture color so let's add a hue and saturation and let's click on clip to layer yeah maybe somewhere somewhere around here and let's drop down the saturation and maybe let's drop down the light and still yeah maybe some more yep let's keep it like that let's keep it somewhere around here and then let's drag and drop this texture on very top. And let's change the blending mode to screen. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's keep it right around here. Yep. Something like that. Uh, and let's do some color adjustment. So select this layer. Go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And uh, let's see, let's uh, increase, let's drop down the highlights somewhere around here. And uh, let's increase the texture and let's increase the clarity a little bit somewhere around here. Yep, maybe something like that. Let's go, let's drop down the highlights some more. Yep, something like that. And let's go to color mixture. And let's drop down the saturation for yellow, orange a little bit. Yep, something like this. And let's Maybe let's drop down the pink all the way to zero. Yep, something like that. And let's click on OK. So this is what we got. And let's add a shadow on the bottom. Control T. Let's uh, make it a little smaller. 
Yep, let's keep it somewhere around here. Uh, let's create a new layer, go to brush, and again with the same color, with the same soft brush, let's change the color to, yep, let's keep it like that darker color. And let's add a saddle. Press Ctrl and T, squeeze it, and let's move it a little bit up, and let's keep it under this layer. Yep, I think this is looking pretty good. Ctrl T, let's make it a little bigger, I guess. Yep, something like that. Now it's time to add a lot, so let's go over here, click on Lookup, and from here, click on Load. And then, and I'm going to use this Windy Retro Lot. So select this one and click on Load. So yep, this is what we got. And let's add a curve on top. So let's uh, crank up this one. And let's make it kind of curvy. Yep, something, something like that. Let's make it punchy. Maybe it's too much. Yep, let's keep it somewhere around here. And then uh, let's go over here. Let's add exposure, I guess. Let's click on Clip to Layer. Let's increase the exposure, yep. And then let's click on that layer max, go to brush and with the black color, let's erase some of these bars, maybe on this side a little bit and maybe something somewhere around here too. Yep, so this is before and this is after. I think this is looking pretty good. And then let's go on very top, go to brush and I'm going to use uh, this paint brush so if you want to get this brush please check on the description list below so yeah I'll just use this one let's add a rotation yep maybe something like that and let's give a color to kind of darker red or something like that and let's add a stroke right over here Maybe one more. Let's keep it under this LUT file. And let's add a text. And let's change the color to kind of pure white. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's add a little rotation. Yep. Let's keep it right around here. Let's make a copy. Control J. Control T. Let's move it right around here. Let's make it a little smaller. Let's add a player's name. Here we go. And you know what? Like, let's keep it right above that lot layer so that we can get the pure white. Yep, I think this is looking pretty good. And then let's add a text on the bottom too. And let's turn. Control T. Here we go. And then let's add a text on very top. Here we, <coughs> here we go. And that's the final. And I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And I'll see you on next video. Till then, you guys take care. Be safe and be creative. Bye-bye.